They led the Magicals through that gate to the cloud ship. He's not paying attention. I could probably sneak up on him. If I take him out, I might be able to get past the gate. After him. He's not your responsibility. None of this is on you, Kian. It's not just the one life, Anna. It's not just Bib. The Azadi take the Magicals to the islands. They're not given passage to the Southlands. They never come back. It's all a lie. The old and the young families sent away to die. Forgotten by everyone. That ends now. I refuse to forget. The Resistance will persevere without me. I'm not really one of them. I never was, I never will be. I'm a Zadi. You're a Zadi. So what? I'm not saying what they're doing is acceptable, but... Are you going to free every Magical on your own? Take on the entire Zadi army single-handed? You're being stupid and emotional and... And you're being selfish. You're leaving us when we need you the most. You're leaving me, again. What do you mean by... My name isn't Anna. I use a different name in every city. It's safer that way. In Sadir, I was Elena, but... I never told you my name. You don't recognize me. That's fair, I've changed. You haven't, except for the, you know, it's a good look for you. You're the girl I saved from Vamon's gang. Yeah, I'm the girl. Well, that's it. I spent every day these past 20 years thinking about you, and I'm the girl. Oh, I feel so special now. Forgive me, Anna. Elena. I do remember you. Vamon was trying to... Hurt me. And they would have killed me too if it hadn't been for you. You risked everything, and you stood up for me. That was the first time anyone had shown me any kindness. You brought me to Mother Ritana, and she took care of me for a while. I watched you from a distance for years, until I was uh, forced to leave Sadir. But I knew I'd find you again someday, Kiana Vane. That was... a long time ago. I was a different person. No. You were a different person in between, but now? Now you are the boy I knew, from all those years ago. The boy with his eyes and heart wide open. The boy who risked his life for others. The boy who... Oh, God damn it. This is why you have to go. Not because you're a Zadi, or because you're the Apostle, or the great hero of the Resistance, or because of your goddess, or... or because you're selfish. You have to go because this is who you are. The boy who saved my life. Will you help them while I'm gone? This isn't my war, Keon. Maybe not. But it is mine, and I believe what happens here will change the balance for all time to come. I didn't know you believed in the balance. I didn't. Will you help the Resistance in my absence? Fine. Fine. I'll help them. You're not pulling away this time. 
What was that for? For love, you idiot. I've loved you since you lifted me out of that gutter and saved my life. I've loved no one else. I don't know if I can... It's taken me over 20 years to find you. You'd better fucking come back, or believe me, Kianavane, I will go to the first mountain and drag you back, kicking and screaming, to the world of the living. From what I've learned traveling on cloud ships, this is a ship's bell. They use this to signal the crew when a load of cargo is ready to be hoisted up. Kian! Do not leave without me! Quick, pull me up! I could... Take my hand! Hold on! Why did you pull me up? You begged me to. Ah, you're infuriating. Because I pulled you up? Because you continue to give me no reason to hate you. Aside from murdering your father in front of you. Well, aside from that...
Every story has a beginning and an end. This is how our story began. The year is 2219. In Casablanca, a young woman named Zoe Castillo is drawn into a conspiracy when her journalist ex-boyfriend Reza goes missing. Zoe tries to track him down and discovers that Reza is working on a story about a new entertainment device that enables lucid dreams. But this device also opens a back door into people's minds, allowing Watikorp, the makers of the dream machine, to monitor thoughts and steal memories. When Zoe is forcibly connected to a dream machine, she finds herself in another world, Arcadia, the world of magic. Zoe arrives in the middle of an armed conflict between the Azadi, who have conquered the city of Mercuria, and the magical peoples who are being eradicated by the invaders. She soon learns of a connection between the dream machine and the Azadi. Someone is attempting to steal humanity's dreams in order to reshape reality. When Zoe wakes from her vision, she tracks the Dream Machine conspiracy back to the Watikorp headquarters and helps sabotage the project. But before Zoe can tell the world what is going on, she's poisoned by a woman claiming to be her long-deceased mother. Now, in a coma, Zoe travels to a strange and desolate place. Story time. Here, Zoe has the power to shape dreams and help those who are trapped in night terrors escape but unable to escape herself. Meanwhile, in Arcadia, the world of magic, we follow the apostle Kian Nirvane as he journeys from the Azadi homelands to the occupied city of Mercuria on a sacred mission to assassinate the leader of the magical resistance. But as Kian learns more about the conflict between his people and the magicals, he begins to lose faith in his mission. He finally tracks down the leader of the rebels, a woman named April Ryan, but refuses to kill her. As punishment, Kian is imprisoned and sentenced to death, and April is brutally cut down. Zoe is in a coma. Kian is in prison. Their journeys have yet to intersect, but that moment draws closer. Behind the scenes, the thief of dreams is pulling threads and manipulating events. The dream machine has been released, Millions of people are addicted to lucid dreams. The Azadi have cemented their rule. Their plot to harvest dreams is moving ahead. Every story has a beginning. Every story has an end. Zoe? 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 Shoo, bird. Oh, shoo yourself, you big hairy lug. What in Charles' name it? I know you. You arrived with that Stark girl yesterday. You're her bird. Her? Bird? I am my own bird, I'll have you know. 
Bugger bird. Psh, the nerve of some people. Besides, I lost her. She done gone vanished on me. I am, it seems, an expert at misplacing beautiful young women. She's not misplaced. She's with... The Resistance. The Resistance. So she did find the rebels. And she didn't think to tell me. Well, some friend she turned out to be. Well, to be fair to the girl, it wasn't entirely... Uh, voluntary. What do you mean? They kidnapped her. Crow to the rescue! Uh... So, where exactly did they kidnap her to? I'm not supposed to... Well, I reckon the chances of you being an Azadi spy are rather remote. And that poor girl could probably use a friend. Do you know the old Sentinel Library outside the city? It's in ruins now, but beneath it, in the Enclave, you'll find your girl. Unless they took her head, in which case... Hold on, Zoe! Hold on to your head! I'm on my way! I trust you got some sleep last night? I would have, if you guys believed in bedsheets and pillows. You are fortunate to be alive, girl. Who are you? Why do you ask questions about the Resistance? I'll keep it simple. On the other hand, asking for the Rebels is what got me into trouble in the first place. Deny everything? I'll keep it- or maybe it's better to mention the Rebels. I'll keep it simple. I'm Zoe. I need your help. Our help? With what? I didn't know who else to ask. I need to get to the Purple Mountains. I don't know where that is. What about the Ular? I'm sorry. Abnaxus? Of the Venar? I have heard of the Venar, but they left the Northlands. And of Nexus, maybe a whisper, long ago, nothing more. I cannot help you. Oh, damn. Is there anyone here who would know? Perhaps. But you haven't answered my question, girl. Why should we help you? For all I know, you're an agent of the Azadi. No, I'm... Zoe! She's Zoe! Balance. Don't you dare touch her head. She's on an important mission! I see. And who are you? Crow! Honorary rebel, long-term avian buddy, and occasional sidekick of April Ryan. Rebel leader, adventurer, hero, savior of the balance. That's right! Here's Crow. This is him. I'm me. So... Where's April? She can vouch for Zoe. They're best friends, tight as two chicks in a nest. I don't see April. Is she out on a mission, or sleeping in, or... Why are you both looking at me like that? I... I thought you knew. Knew what? What's going on? What? April Ryan is dead, Bird. She was assassinated during an Azadi raid on Miria the winter before last. She died a hero's death and was given a hero's burial. We remember her fondly. What? I'm so, so sorry. Crow! Crow! Okay, I'm an idiot. I've heard of this bird. Crow. So, you knew April Ryan? We met a couple of times. I... I was there when she died. I found her. I tried to save her, but... I couldn't. So, yeah, I guess I knew April. You're the Stark girl. The one who dreams. They spoke of you. Bakim, Bryn, Chuan. They said you were one of us. Oh, this certainly changes things. But how did...
deserted you. He's gone. Of course he's gone. I should have seen that coming. It's not like he could just let Kian go without... Ugh, he's such a... Oh. Oh. Hey. Uh, your hair. It's so pretty. Thanks. Who's gone, Enu? What? Oh, oh, Liko. He vanished in the middle of the night, chasing Kian, of course. Idiots, the both of them. Maybe this is for the best. If Liko can help Kian... Kian? Big Azadi guy. People call him the Apostle. You know him? We met once, briefly. He was kind to me. But isn't he the enemy? Was. He's with us now. Defected. Uh, yep. Well, except that he abandoned us again to go on a crazy suicide mission He to... left last night. Of course. After everything that's happened, we just miss each other. Uh, oh, Enu, this is... Zoe. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Enu. You're so pretty. Uh, that came out wrong. Wanna be friends? Oh, sorry. Zoe needs our help. She has questions. Maybe you of can... Of course! No problem. Leave this to me, Shepard. I'm sorry for questioning you, Zoe. And I'm sorry I could not be of any assistance. Please, stay. Speak with Enu and the others. Perhaps someone here has the answers you're looking for. Thank you, Shepard. Where are you from? Your clothes are amazing. Where did you get them? They... came with the jump. I'm from Stark. That's... Across the divide. On the flip side of the balance. The world of science. Are you serious? That's incredible. I have so many questions. I don't even know where to start. I... I'm... I am seriously worried my head might explode. I think I need to sit down. Oh, don't explode. I'm not that special. I mean, you're orange and the ears... Uh, I'm just a boring old zid. It's totally normal. Holy crap, Stark. I can't believe it. How did you get here? Are you a... are you a shifter? A dreamer. I just... dream myself here. Just dream yourself here. That's it. No biggie. You are the best thing I have ever seen. Seriously. <laughs> really? Okay. Thank you. So, what do you need help with? Shepard said... I'm trying to find the Purple Mountains. And a tribe of magical creatures called the Ula, someone, a Banar named Abnaxus, told me Whoa, to... Whoa, slow down. Okay. Purple Mountains... Ular, Venar, Abnaxis, right? Nope. None of that sounds remotely familiar. I have never heard any of those words before. Of course, there are a lot of things I don't know. I'm a... I mean, I was a farm girl. A silly zidling. There's so much I don't know. But I do know where to look for answers. Oh? Where? The library. The library holds all the answers. Do you have libraries in Stark? Never mind, silly question. Of course you don't. I'll go to our library right now and start looking. Purple Mountains, Ular, Abnaxis of the Venar. Come find me when you're ready. I can't wait to spend more time with you. Ugh, oh, sorry. They add color to the place, if nothing else. They look ready to go to war. I hope they won't have to. A round table? Check. Chivalrous knights? Check. Magic? Check. That's right, this would make for a great theme restaurant. I assume it's not an actual dragon's head, but you just never know in this world. Shepherd, leader of the rebels. I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. 
She scares me a bit. I'm so, so sorry, Crow. I thought you knew. It's fine. It's not your fault. I just can't... I can't believe she's gone. But I sort of knew, you know. I felt it in my heart. And that final time we were together, it wasn't... It wasn't like it used to be. It was weird. Like too much time had passed and we drifted apart. I should have known it wouldn't last. How can you ever know something like that? He's not alone in feeling that. How can you ever know something? You never know. You can't know. Maybe you can't. Were you there when she... I witnessed the whole thing. I was there. I saw it happen. I tried to help her, to save her. I know I was supposed to, but I... Couldn't. Not your fault. Bad things happen. People die. Life goes on. Anyway. Did I help with, you know, the rebel thing? Did they believe you? That you're not a spy? You did. They do. It's fine now. They'll help us. Good. 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 They're not gonna cut your head off? What? No. Good. Good. I wish I could have been more helpful. But it was ten years ago, and I didn't really pay attention to what April said about that Abnaxis chap. It's okay. If you don't mind, I need to be alone for a little while. Clean my feathers, sharpen my beak, reflect on the nature of life. Bird stuff. Totally understand. I'll find you in the city. They look ready to go to war. I hope they won't have to. A white dragon. There's only supposed to be one of those at any given time. I met the current one. She was beautiful and eccentric. What's he doing? He looks nervous. Should I interfere or wait until he's done? What's he doing? Oh, I... I didn't... I didn't see you there. Hey, are you supposed to be hunting your own? He looks guilty. What's going on here? This doesn't look right, but I probably shouldn't be snooping. He looks guilty. Is this your room? Well, we don't... You know, we don't have our own rooms. Anyway, Keen's gone. I was just looking for... Um... It's Zoe, is it not? I'm Jakai, Benrima Salman's nephew. She said some very nice things about you. You'll have to give her my regards. How is Benrima? I noticed the journeyman was closed down. Yeah, she's in Coldstone. They arrested her for colluding with the Resistance. She, she, she's due to be executed next week, unless I... Anyway, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear that you're back in town. I'm 
sorry about your aunt. Yes. Thank you. I don't know what I'll do without her. She's the only family I have. I'm... Look, I have to go into town on an errand now, but please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. They kept me locked up in one of those cells all night. This may not be a prison, but it's not far from it. I miss my tiny apartment now. They look ready to go to war. I hope they won't have to. So many books. Anaxis, which makes sense, mountains, given that this used to be a library. Ula, 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 ula. Nope, nothing, no. I hope Enu finds a clue in one of these books. Enu's really weird and very sweet, and I like her a lot. Part of me wishes I had time to stay here and read and learn more about this strange world. So many books. Which makes sense, given that this used to be a library. Ah, books, please don't fail me now. On abscesses. Ooh, nope, that's a different when type I was of 12, ab. I was a lot like her. Awkward and. Strike that. I'm still a lot like her. The Turtle Mountains. Hmm. Believed to be the petrified remnants of three titan turtles that rose from... Uh, and interesting? Sure. Relevant? No. I've been trying to find a book or scroll or manuscript or map or torn note page or ancient magical tome or pamphlet or a piece of cloth that mentions the Purple Mountains or the Ular, but... No luck. It's really frustrating. This library has never let me down before. Bad library! She seems so curious about me, and I haven't asked her a single question. There must be something here. This is where I try to connect and make friends. She seems so curious about me, and I haven't asked her a single question. Enu, right? I don't feel we were properly introduced. I know you are. I mean, no, uh, yes. <clears throat> You're right. Enu. I am Enu. I hope you're staying a while. It would be so great to have someone around who's not a surly warrior with mommy issues, or a stoic leader, or a battle-hardened soldier, or just batshit insane. I mean, there's Jakai. He's pretty normal, except for his aunt issues, but he's a bit too... Ugh. Hey, so, uh, what do you do when you're not saving the world? Neural programming. I mean, I did. Then my world shut down, and now I just watch a lot of shows and eat. Uh, uh, sorry. Didn't understand any of that, but it was still amazing. Tell me again. Maybe 
Next time? I can't wait to talk more about all these things we have in common. We must have a sleepover! This is where I try to connect and make friends. You just joined the Resistance? Oh, yes. Uh, no. Not really just. About half a year ago? Wait, more than that. Time flies when you're having fun. Well, fun. Sometimes you need to make the best out of a bad situation. Right. And it's my duty. We're doing good, important work here. Also, I didn't want to end up living the life my parents wanted for me. I can identify with that. This is so nice. I wish we were sisters. Can we be sisters? You don't have to answer that. Um, do you have any siblings? I did. Uh, sort of. Long story. You? Oh, lots. Boyfriend! Do you have one of those? I do. I think. We haven't spoken in a while, and he doesn't know. I think we need to have a long talk when I... If I get back home. It's been a very tough year. For the both of us. I was... Asleep. For a long time. I forgot a lot of the stuff that happened to me before I fell asleep. I tried to remember, but I couldn't. Until my memories caught up with me. Oh, Jesus. It's a long story. Very complicated. Maybe another time? Yes, uh, please? There must be something here. So, no luck? Nothing. Sorry. And I've read most of these before. I can't remember coming across any of those words you mentioned. There's not much else to do here in the evenings except read. I don't really have any female friends. It gets lonely. Anyway, I've been through all the encyclopedias and travelogues, but- Nothing about the Purple Mountains or the Ula. Nothing. I mean, the Purple Mountains sounds colloquial. It may have a different name officially, but the Ular, there should be something about them. It's a magical race? They didn't look human. Weird there's nothing about them. They must be very isolated, or... Or? Or someone's trying to hide something. Which would be weird and very hard to pull off. Forget I said that. I'm on a deadline. I should just cut this short. I guess I'll have to look elsewhere. Oh no! I'm so sorry. I really thought I'd find something. I feel terrible. I, do you want to be my friend? Oh, I already asked you that. I'm coming on too strong, aren't I? I am, I can tell. Stop it, Enu. No, not at all. That's... I'd love to be friends. And thank you for helping me. Much good that did. I really wish I knew who else could... For the love of the festering demon shrimps of Jaharva, do I have to do everything in this place? I didn't spend all those years living on the streets of Mercuria, pilfering food and liberating fat purses to deal with this shite. I swear I'd be better off going back to sleeping in Abnaxus's stone tree if I can't even get a mattress that isn't flea and maggot infested. Do your bleeding jobs, people. Is that too much to ask? That guy looks familiar, but I'm not quite sure where I... <gasps> Is that Blind Bob, the beggar? Blind Bob? Eh? What? Who's asking? Well, blessed be me straight britches. You're the last what brought me mulled wine back when I'd hit rock bottom in Mercuria. What in the name of the eight-eyed octo-god of Tartillus are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Except for, you know, uh, not, not those words, exactly. Oh, I left me life of beggaring behind. Cleaned myself up. Joined the resistance. I'm a general now. I'm making a difference. He was theoretically blind, but now he can see. It makes less and less sense the more I think about it. What happened to your theoretical blindness? Cured! I was blind, theoretically, but now I can see. To be honest, some days I wonder if I ever was theoretically blind, or if it was all hypothometaphysical. You know, just in my head, like. Oh, um... It was simpler being blind Bob and resorting to beggaring and vagrancy than taking a long, hard look at myself in a speculum, particularly on account of the blindness. 
I wish me old pa could have lived to see me. He always believed in me, even when I didn't. To the bitter end, he told me I had potential. I nodded and wept and promised him I'd try my best. Then, as he drew his last ragged breath, I stole his purse and his breeches. Well, Pa, I'm sorry about the breeches. I'm making something of life now, making something of myself. I'm no longer blind, Bob. Call me Bob who can see. General? Didn't he just mention Abnaxus? Or was Je I just can't imagine how the blind Bob I met in Mercuria turned into this man. It's an impressive transformation. It's a long shot, but... I just can't Im How did you end up with the rebels? Not long after you and I met, I overdosed on mulled wine. Spooked me good, that did. I figured I had two choices. Either spend the remainder of my days in the gutter, stinking of foreign spices and currants, and, to be honest, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of days left. Or I could clean myself up, try to amount to something after a lifetime wasted on wine, women, and various gutters. The moment I looked up, I saw how the Azadi were running magicals out of Mercuria. I couldn't ignore it. It was disgraceful. I mean, magicals always treated me with kindness and respect. I felt I owed them. So, here I am, doing my part and paying my debts. Aside from the gambling and the bar tabs, mind you. And I feel twenty years younger to boot. General? Are you an actual general? Aye. See these stripes? General Bob, that's me. I takes care of the logic sticks round here so the place don't crumble to pieces. Shepherd's busy with the strategering. Kian sorts out who to murder and how. Liko makes a fine job of being contrary, and Enu keeps everyone's spirits up. I mean, when she's not shooting Azadi soldiers in their eyeballs with her bow and arrow. Me, I make sure the ladder's stocked, the sheets are clean, relatively speaking, and that the piss pots are empty. Can't go to war on a full bladder. Didn't he just... Do you know someone called Abnaxus? Abnaxus? Now there's a name I haven't heard spoken in years. Where do you know it from? Sorry, I just overheard... Actually, I met Abnaxus recently. Well, I dreamed about Abnaxus. Or maybe it was more like a vision. This sounds crazy, I know, but... Sounds completely sane to me, lass. Abnaxus turning up in visions, hmm? That's exactly the sort of fellow he was. Persistent, unpredictable and not a little annoying. I met him when he was the Venar ambassador to Irid. Uh, this was before the gutters, when I was still a dapper chap on the Mercurian party circuit. We hit it off, especially seeing as I was going blind, theoretically, and he saw everything, past, present, and future. Years later, as he was leaving town, he entrusted me with the key to his home, said to take care of it. I'd sleep there from time to time. Very uncomfortable buck. Musty smell of ancient books and foreign weeds. I didn't much care for it, to be honest. I'm sure he said key. And where there's a key... It's a long shot, but... Have you heard of the Purple Mountains? Oh, I. Oh, of course. Everyone's heard of the Turtle Mountains. They're... No, sorry. Purple, not turtle. That's what I said. Turtle. Uh... <gasps> right, of course. You don't know. Why would you? My apologies, Lassie. See, I have a serious pee deficiency. It's been a lifelong struggle. The Turtle Mountains. <laughs> nope, never heard of them. Sorry. I'm sure he said key. And where there's a key... You said something about a key to Abnaxus's house? They called it the abode back then. Abnaxus's abode. Primitive accommodations, but luxurious location. Prime real estate. Central with a garden view. 
very quiet at night. And the key? D do you still have it? Sorry, this is really important. Oh, I, I carry it with me every day. After all, it is a magic key. Figured it might do me lumbago some good. W what about this house? I mean, the abode? Ah, also still there, and not hard to find. Sits right circle in the centre of the city green. Abnaxus carved it out of a petrified tree with his own morbidly huge hands. A few years ago, the authorities turned it into an historical landmark. Of course, no one can get inside on account of the Venar magic. Not without the key, at least. This key? Can I... Oh, sure. Heavier than it looks, ain't it? Hmm? More powerful than iron. Worth its weight in precious stones, and then some. This magic goes back to the first magic. None of that modern hocus-pocus. You feel it in your fingers when you hold it. Tingles, don't it? It does. Sorry, I know this is asking a lot, but can I... Borrow it? Aye, why not? It's done the lumbago no good. And I don't have much use for the place, now that I've a proper bunk here. But keep it safe. Abnaxus left most of his belongings behind and entrusted me with their care. I'd hate to betray that trust. I promise. <laughs>